Masking is a key feature in graphics design programs. But can we mask images in Canva? Well, let's check it out. What's up guys, it's Trent and I have a quick Canva tip for you today. Is it possible to mask images in Canva? Well, the answer is sort of. Before I show you how, let me briefly explain what masking is. So I'm in the program Affinity Photo here, and I'm just using this as an example. Masking is a common feature in many graphics programs. So let's say I have this image of the apple and I wanna erase all the content around the apple. Well, I can select the apple and then I can click the mask button here. So I've erased all the content around my apple, but the content isn't permanently gone. I can turn off my mask and it's still there. Let me turn on my mask again. Now, the reason this is really cool is I can paint in part of my image. So if I decided I wanted the floor to be back into my image later, I can go on my mask I'll select the color white, and with a brush, I can start painting that content back in. I can find the edge here. Maybe I painted too much, so I'll switch my brush to black, and I can fix that edge there. So this is before, after, before, after. So masking allows me to non-destructively edit my image. So let's see how we can do this in Canva. I loaded that same image here into a document, and this is going to be a Canva Pro feature. So make sure you have a subscription to get this to work. So with my image selected here, I'll click edit image. And the key feature here is the BG remover. So I'll click BG remover. And it removes the background. The important thing is that when we apply this operation, the BG remover now has these controls and we can click on it. And this interface allows us to touch up what was removed. So we have these options to erase more content and to restore. We can also show the original image just to get a preview of what it used to look like. So I'm going to click the restore button. I'll make the brush size bigger. And now I can start painting in my floor again if I want it there. So I'll have the floor over here. So let me hide the background. So I've effectively altered the mask. I can also erase part of my apple if I want. So I'll click the erase button here. And I'll take a bite out of it or something there. Make the brush smaller. Take out some pieces. And I'll go back here. The key is to use the background removers options to arbitrarily create a mask. So the interesting thing is we can just ignore what the BG remover does and create our own mask from scratch. So I'll select this image again. I'll click edit image. I'll click BG remover and we can see the result. Let me click the BG remover again and you can restore everything or erase everything. I'll erase everything. Now I'll click show original image and if I click restore, I can just easily bring in things individually. So I'll bring in this plate here. Maybe I just want this tray to also be there. So, so I'll paint this in. I'll change the brush size to make things easier. Now, if you add in too much, you can always go back and forth to the erase tool again, make it smaller and erase it out. Now the downsides of this approach is that the brush isn't very flexible. It's basically just a circle here. You can change the size, but if you want to get into tight corners and things, it's a little bit tricky. And there's no softness to the edge of the brush either. So you can't create those soft edges like you can in a mask in Affinity Photo or Photoshop. But this is a quick way in Canva to get some basic masking functionality. Is this masking ability enough to help you with your designs? Or do you want a more sophisticated masking feature in Canva? Let me know down in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.